Hi, I'm very excited to show you all my Xion cosplay from Kingdom Hearts 3, but before we see the final results, I want to explain the process behind it first. I started out with this pattern for Kairi and modified some pieces and removed several of them until I had something like this. I actually cut the pieces of the pattern out from a roll of medical paper and used the same pieces for the black overshirt slash dress she wears and the white cream skirt portion. Originally, the white portion was going to be a dress, but you'll see why I changed my mind soon. I started out by tracing all the pattern pieces onto the white cotton fabric I had. I'm using a yellow washable fabric pencil, so it's hard to see here, but you'll be able to see it on the black fabric. Also, don't forget to wash your fabric before cutting out the pieces in case it shrinks. The fabric I'm using actually definitely does shrink when you wash it for the white fabric, but it doesn't shrink for the black fabric, which is a polyester and the white is cotton. My friend Emmy was very kind and helped me film and also cut out all of the pieces from the white fabric and later for the black fabric. Usually I would just cut everything out with a rotary cutter on a cutting mat, but I think I left my cutting mat at my grandma's house. I can't find it and I did not want to spend a bunch of money on a cutting mat right now, so scissors have to work. I traced all the same pattern pieces out onto the black fabric and you can see it way more clearly on the black fabric that I'm using the washable yellow pencil. I actually got this pencil from Walmart, but you can pretty much get it anywhere where they have quilting supplies. This fabric is, I believe, about 57 inches wide, and I got two yards of it. And I found out, as you can see, I was really pushing it to fit all of these pieces on here. So keep that in mind. That is, if you end up making this. I really, this part with the black shirt is good, but you will see why I wouldn't use these pieces for the white dress. This extra piece isn't in the pattern I used, but I added it for the collar on Jian's shirt. The white fabric I felt was less important than the black fabric, so I started sewing everything together with the white fabric so I could see how the pattern sort of turned out, and my friend Emmy helped with pleating things. Was so nice she used the fork method in case anyone is curious about that. Once I had everything sewn together on the white portion I realized it was just too bulky and not fitted enough and I sewed the pieces together wrong and so I had to redo it. Thankfully though I was able to scrap the waist portion of the dress that I still had and so these extra little pieces and kind of group everything together because I was out of fabric until it made a nice little pleated skirt. So I still attached the zipper there and thankfully I had that because I didn't even have the right zipper. But it fit together okay as you can see. Everything worked out in the end with that. I had a much better understanding of how this dress would go together when I started doing the black part. So I pinned everything together the correct way, and let me tell you, I thought those little accent pieces went on top of the shoulders of the dress, which was what screwed me up in the end. So everything sewed together just fine now, and I attached all my buttons and sewed it together, and it went way faster. I dug out an old leather jacket I used for scraps for the little patches on the top of her sleeves, and I used the very precise measuring tool of a comb, as you saw there. And I stitched together some strips as well to make the ruffles on the edge of the sleeves. It took a couple days for me to get to this point, but I got Emmy back over to help with the ruffles on the sleeves. And I got it all pinned together, sewn together. It was fitting. I was excited. And I attached the collar, which gave me a bit of a fuss because I thought I broke my sewing machine. It was just the bobbin. It was fine. I added the slit in the middle of the front of the dress and the bottom, and then I went to work on the little boot covers that I made. Rather than painting a pair of combat boots or something ridiculous, I got a pair of dark brown 
sticky self-adhesive felt and cut it in half the long way. And then I stuck both halves to the top half of a tan piece and I poked holes in it and that was fun. I stabbed myself in the finger, so be careful. I'm using that really bad embroidery needle to poke holes. I should really just get an awl, but I then put some parachute cord through as some fake laces and you can see it made a nice little boot cover thing. I rounded the edges with my scissors and that little light brown piece will tuck in to whatever socks I'm wearing, so it'll look like the black boots I have are taller. And so, without further ado, let me reveal to you my Xi'an Kingdom Hearts 3 cosplay. I had so much fun and also stress making this, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. If you are a fan of this cosplay and you want to see me do others, Make sure you subscribe and also let me know what other things you want to see me do. I had fun with this. I've been trying to do more awesome projects in the future. So yeah, I uh, will see you guys then. Bye. <laughs> the kawaii face. Bobby pins, if you're out there. <laughs> Ow. Why don't these ones have the, the bulbs on them? Because they're like the $1 Sorry. ones from Sally's or something. Or the wall, or the Walmart, <laughs> the Walmart, the one and only Walmart. I'm just gonna rip it. Oh God, Sorry. okay, it's fine. It didn't hurt that bad.